Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we are diving into a topic that can significantly boost your productivity. How to create a daily activity tracker in Excel. But before we move forward, I would like to tell you that B10X is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's jump into our topic. Creating a daily activity tracker in Excel can revolutionize how you manage your time and tasks. Whether you are a student, a professional or a business owner, keeping track of your daily activities is crucial for staying organized and productive. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the steps to set up your own activity tracker in Excel, complete with features that will help you prioritize tasks, track progress and stay focused throughout the day. So for this purpose, we are going to use ChartGPT. So I'm going to ask ChartGPT to help us in creating daily activity tracker using some of the Excel features. As you can see, we got the output. So these steps we have to follow to create our own daily activity tracker. So first of all, we have to open Excel and create a new Excel spreadsheet. Then we have to set up our worksheet. After that, we have to create a drop down menu for activities. Then we have to enter data. After that, we have to create a progress bar. Then we have to calculate progress. Then we have to repeat for each activity. So then this is our optional. Okay, before we follow these steps, I would like to tell you one important thing which all of you need to understand. AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and what not, you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two-hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop, in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description now. Now let's get back to our Excel tutorial. First of all, let's set up our worksheet. So here, first of all, we have to rename our first sheet as tracker. So let's do that. Then we have to create headers for our tracker. So these are the columns which we need to create date, activity, time spent and progress. So let's create them. Uh, we have to format the cells as needed for better visibility. So for me, this thing is fine. Then we have to create a drop down menu for activities. In one of the cells under activity, click on data in the Excel ribbon. Okay. Select data validation from the drop down menu. So here we have to click on data validation. Okay. In the data validation dialog box under settings tab, choose list 
from the other drop down menu okay in the source field enter the list of activities you want to track separated by commas or in a range so i want to track my breakfast lunch dinner so i'm just going to click on okay as you can see now we got a breakfast lunch dinner okay so in the date column enter the dates for which you want to track activities choose the drop down menu you created to select the activity for each day so we can enter time spent on each activity okay let's do this okay this is the date and uh, here i'm going to select uh, breakfast i spent uh, 20 minutes okay so create a progress bar so here select the cell where you want to create the progress bar okay so go to insert tab in the excel ribbon click on shapes okay we have to go to insert tab then here we have to click on shapes so draw a rectangle in the selected cell resize it to fit the cell if needed so this is the rectangle which i drawed right click on the rectangle shape and choose format shape in the format shape pan go to fill section choose a solid fill color so first of all we have to right click then we have to go to format shape then we have to go to fill section we have to choose solid fill color that represents your progress adjust the transparency if needed to make the progress bar semi transparent close the format shape pan so this thing is fine for me as of now so here we have to calculate the progress in the cell adjacent to progress bar use a formula to calculate the progress based on the time spent and target time for example if your target time for each activity is 1 hour you can use formula like c 2 by 1 assuming time spent in cell c2 okay so let's do this so here i have just uh, made a simple change that uh, so in place of 1 i have mentioned 60 minutes so 60 minutes is equal to 1 1 hour so i have spent only uh, 20 minutes okay yeah and this is the optional so you can add additional features like conditional formatting to highlight cells based on certain criteria such as exceeding a certain time limit or completing all activities for the day 
so as you can see you can uh, change this progress bar according to your needs so this won't change automatically as of now so in future we have to see are there any uh, features in excel to make a progress bar and with that we have came to the end of today's video if you found this tutorial helpful please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such informative videos also don't forget to check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thanks for watching and until next time stay productive